Well, here's our latest project that we've been working on, my dad and I. I had some leftover parts from a wheel horse GT14 that I pulled out of the woods uh, a couple of years ago. Just the front half, and guys who owned it before me really abused it. They had a loader on it, so just to use up the parts, we're taking and we're putting a whole bunch of stuff together, and we're going to be building a dump truck, a mini dump truck out of the tractor parts and here's the bed this is a bed from a DR power wagon made by country home products it's the plastic one for the suburban model but some guy gave it to us and it doesn't fit ours because ours is an older model than this so to use it up I'm gonna make a small dump truck hydraulic dump and everything so I traded an 8 horse to come to engine a small Clinton for a hydrostatic rear end with the wheels wheels hold air and everything which is good <clears throat> so long as this works we'll be all set I think it will you know it looks good other than that it's got the relief valve on the top and everything <coughs> so here we cut the frame in half and we're gonna extend it a foot because the people who owned it before us had made a new plate here because they blew out the original hydro and then put a three speed I don't know what kind of transmission in it so they had to make a new plate and the front was higher than the back so we my dad and I we split it up and we're gonna be welding it back together hopefully tomorrow so here's the plate and we'll be cutting along these lines just to get rid of the excess there and then we'll be putting some angle iron in there like that and probably some other stuff to get it beefed up so it doesn't twist or bend or anything <clears throat> came with a hitch on it which was good and we're gonna put a hydraulic dump on it and everything this still moves a little broken there but it's no big deal but we're gonna downsize to those tires over there so that way we wouldn't have to cut it but I really wanted the big you know big tires if we're hauling the loads and whatnot <clears throat> and the dash steering column right there will be mounted up in the front here on this panel so you'll be sitting right around here your legs will probably come out to about probably about there we will put a brush guard on the front and that's one side and the other sides there so here's the dash. It's all in good condition. We're gonna have to find another steering wheel because someone had bent this up pretty good. <clears throat> well, it's got a nice heavy front end, one, in one inch spindles and everything, so good heavy, heavy tractor. And the engine we're gonna put on it is a 14 horse Kohler, like what came off of the GT14 wheel horse. Um, this is another one I had. <clears throat> the original engine that came off that tractor when it came out of the woods is up on the shed. This is a different 14 horse. It's a bit better shape. So, washed it up. We cleaned it. And my dad did a valve job on it. So, it's all set now. Yeah, it didn't have much compression. The valves are really out of alignment. Now it's real, real, real tight. You know, good engine. Tons of compression and everything. So, it ought to run great got the flywheel for it and everything this pulley will be going back on electronic clutch won't be uh, cowling I'm probably gonna have to replace the bottom with some sheet metal just rivet it on here's the rest of the parts and everything so it's in really good condition and whatnot and this had the I forget what it was called but the ignition system can't find it but it was the system where they have the little magnet thing here that rubs against the flywheel. Oh, it's right here. Had that on it. And then one of these coils. <clears throat> but we're going to put the original circular one on there and con convert it back to points ignition. So, anyways, that's our new project. <clears throat>